XCOM, a game I have never played before in my life and a game I regret ever touching. This man challenged me to attempt to beat this game using only one slot. He warned me that it wasn't for the faint of heart. But I got cocky, I got wacky, I said to myself it wouldn't be that bad. I thought I was the bee's knees. So ladies and gentlemen, can I beat XCOM War of the Chosen using only one slot? No, no I can't. This is some next level shit. Now before you guys click off of this video, I'll explain why I can't continue with this challenge after I show you what happened during the gameplay, since uh, you guys are here to see me suffer. The first mission required me to just place these bombs onto the base of that statue. I thought it was going to be a relatively easy task. What awaited me was one of the hardest things I think I've ever had to do. And the difficulty is only on Commander. So during my first attempt at this mission, I tried to get my team relatively close to the enemy to try and flank them. I tossed over a grenade, hoping that it would take out all three of these men, but god damn this grenade must have been defective, cause once it popped, only one was dead, one was damaged, and one forgot to lose some health. That explosion alerted every single enemy on the planet, so it was time to get serious. I missed my first shot, And then I thought to myself, okay, let me send out McDonald to take out this loser with no health. And you know, it would have worked. I could have given this man a couple extra holes to breathe out of, but then I ran out of moves, so it was the enemy's turn to go. Boom. Bop. F***ing destroyed. Absolutely no mercy. Ass stretched. Rigor mortis kicked in instantly. Completely freaking dead. Alright, so now I was a little worried but I still had three teammates left. The enemy made a few more advancements and ended up blasting Chang. Okay, at this point I realized there was no way out. My team was going to shake the hand of Jesus, so honestly I, I just restarted the mission. At least now I know what to expect. I'll have the advantage, so attempt number two, here we come. This time I went for a different approach. I put half my team on the right side and half my team on the left. This way, the enemy will get shot both in the face and in the ass, guaranteeing me a kill. With nowhere else to go, and my team looking relatively cute in their position, I said, let's get shaken. This man's percentage number caught my attention, and he looked rather vulnerable, so I pulled out my pack of new ports, I took aim, and I fired. His body successfully landed in a family guy position, confirming that he indeed took the L. It was time for some action. I set everyone to overwatch since I had no idea who I could shoot at the moment and well, flat top over here, missed her shot, then proceeded to get shot. Poor Chang can't get a break and got completely destroyed so I took my revenge. Didn't kill him though. I wanted to take out this advent officer first since he had the most hair on his chest but god damn he gave me no opening. Instead I see this poor sap with his head right there and a 58% chance of hitting my shot, so I took it. If that wasn't already bad enough, this enemy came right next to me and hit me with the fattest critical shot I think I've ever seen. It's alright, it's alright, I, uh, I still got McDonald. But then she missed all her shots to a man running straight towards her, so I was like, oh, okay. And then this happened. Okay, and then this happened. Okay, I failed. Attempt numero tres. Alrighty, so this time I decided to head around back and try to flank from behind. While trying to get everyone behind this little truck, McDonald got spotted. So back at it we go. Thank God that I had Charlotte set to overwatch because it allowed me to finally put in some damage into the red one. I wanted Chang to go behind the bus but I accidentally put him inside so uh, that happened. Somehow this hits me and then I proceeded to get blasted from behind from an excellent play made by the enemy. I can't have this man this close so I put McDonald behind him so I could avenge Charlotte's death. I then made a risky play to move into these two enemies but I somehow got lucky and managed to take one out. I didn't really know where to move Chang so I kinda just left him there as overwatch. 
My boy dodged a lot of incoming fire. And then Chang managed to miss his shots. It's okay though, since he got blasted just shortly after, so maybe this will teach him never to miss again. The guy I wanted to kill moved out the way. I missed a 65% shot and then played a risky move to get out of this position and into some more cover. It worked out in my favor. McDonald got her back blown out and was about to get her front blown out also, but thankfully, this dumbass missed all his shots. Big mistake is what I would have said if McDonald didn't also miss all her shots. I took Chang out the truck since he was basically just target practice in there and then McDonald died. Two down, two left. No. Okay, three down, one left. I accidentally moved this man out in the open, then moved him back. The enemy was getting closer. This was my last stand. If I'm going out, I'm going out like a man. I kicked the door open and fucking murdered this man on the spot. The enemy was closing in. I dodged all the bullets I could, but not all. I went back inside and managed to take out another, but that was it. The enemy took aim and ended my life. <sighs> Attempt numero cuatro. Seeing how well I held up in the building with just one man gave me the idea to send my whole team into that building. I set everyone to overwatch and started the assault with Zhang in hopes of killing all three of these men. Zhang managed to kill one, Charlotte put in some good damage, McDonald thought the wall was the enemy, and my boy Chang got another kill. After that assault there was only one guy left and he was getting too close and he even managed to hurt Chang. So after Charlotte failed at killing him, McDonald came in clutch. With that, all three were eliminated. I moved Charlotte forwards in order to draw in the remaining enemies, but left everyone in the back in overwatch position just in case. Somehow this guy turned on the aimbot and demolished John with just a single blow. McDonald put some damage into this guy running, but Chang couldn't finish the job. This caused poor Charlotte to take some lead. She was getting pinned, so I moved her out of the way and again set everyone to overwatch. This proved to be not the best idea since all three of them had no sight on the enemy but shot anyways. Chang managed to kill this guy right outside but the enemies were getting closer. I saw this bum with no health that was pretty close to me so I took McDonald out to eliminate him once and for all but sadly I didn't realize I had no ammo. That sudden realization felt like a shotgun blast to my balls. I only had one more turn left with her, so I could either run back to safety or reload my gun right in front of the enemy, risking getting shot. Of course, I went with the obvious answer and sent her back, but that didn't matter, because shortly after, McDonald got killed. It was just Charlotte and Chang left. Now I could have shot this guy, but I wasn't going to take any chances of my bullets missing, so I threw a grenade at him instead. Now. Only the red guy was left. 2v1. I got this. I reloaded Chang's gun and set him as overwatch in case the elite got close to the building and I wasted no time and took my first shot at him. A success. He got closer but Chang missed his shots so I was starting to get a little worried. I moved Charlotte even closer to try and get a nice critical shot but nope. Even though I shot him this close I didn't kill him. But it did damage him enough that he was only one blast away from going into the afterlife. One blast, one goddamn blast, a blast only the great Chang could deliver, so I brought him close, I took aim, and I fired. How? How the fuck do you miss that? The elite laughed at how retarded my aim was, so he went around back, popped a grenade, and then popped my cherry. Attempt numero 5. Here we go. So same as last time, I wanted to get everyone into the building, but um, the door must have been locked or something because when I tried to move Charlotte inside, she broke through the window instead of going through the door. Well, why? I was going to restart, but I said whatever, let's just roll with it. 
The enemies got alerted as you can imagine, but I managed to get everyone inside regardless. I set them all to overwatch and watched as they all disappointed me by not killing a single person. The enemy managed to get the high ground with the best possible angle and took down Charlotte. This was a big no-no. He was my biggest threat at the moment, so I told McDonald to kill him. She killed the wall instead, but thankfully Chang got the job done. I didn't really know what to do with Charlotte's bleeding body, since I don't know how to heal in this game or do any of that mumbo jumbo, so I just decided to go on full offensive mode. Luckily for me, I took aim at this 52% chance shot, and it worked out in my favor. Gosh, I never thought I would hear those words. Since the enemy retreated for the time being, I decided to try and figure out on my own how to rescue Charlotte. I tried to call for the evac zone, but there was nowhere I could place it, so I basically kinda just left her on the floor to bleed to death. I thought all the enemies left, and that it was just a straight run to the objective, so I started to slowly move everyone out of the building. But once I got close, oh boy, there they were. Like bugs, they scattered everywhere but I was the exterminator with an assault rifle, so I took aim and took one out. That leaves me with three enemies left. Chang got taken out, may God bless his soul, and I used McDonald and Jean to get some revenge. That's two left. Somehow this enemy missed, somehow this enemy missed, and somehow I missed. I decided to hunker down, which basically meant I'll be less likely to get hit while in cover, and thankfully, that came in clutch, because when it was the enemy's turn, the elite threw a grenade which severely lowered my health and this enemy could have taken me out very easily, but thanks to that hunker down, it made him miss his shot. I moved McDonald out of the way and took aim at the elite. I damaged him just enough to throw a grenade at him next and finally take him out. One bomb ass enemy left. Like a present from God, he shot at me and missed. It was all over. I kicked my feet up on my desk, took a sigh of relief, clicked fire weapon and watched as McDonald somehow managed to miss this easy shot. Honey, where the f were you aiming at? Thankfully Jean saved me from having a stroke and I was able to finally plant these explosives onto the statue and complete the mission. So uh, what do I really have to say about this game? It was only the first mission, but I know, as well as you guys know, that I need a lot of practice if I want to get this challenge done. And that's where the problem comes in when trying to complete this challenge. This game is not easy. Anyone who has played this game knows that you need a lot of practice and time to really master it. And this practice could take me a few months and frankly at the moment I just can't commit to such a task with all I have going on right now. I don't want to only be pumping out XCOM videos after XCOM videos after XCOM videos when I have so many other games I would love to just play and do challenges for for you guys. Which is why for at the moment this game is gonna have to be put in the vault until further notice. In the future of this channel I will conquer this challenge. I will conquer this goddamn game, remember these words. But as of right now, I just gotta keep with the flow of different games, you know? It could be a year from now, could be two, but this challenge will get completed. So don't give up on me just yet. I need a lot of time, and at the moment time just isn't on my side right now. Like I don't even understand how I'm even able to upload these videos with- Ah oh, man, if only you could understand my schedule, it's just, it's hard. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys my experience with the first mission of this game and just show you guys that I did try. With that all said, I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out.